y'all. I've come to share another Saturday morning make with everyone. But of course, as I've shared in my other videos, I'm a nighttime crafter. So I'm sharing a nighttime creation for Saturday morning makes. This one was used, this one was made mostly using a Peachy Keen stamp set. If any of y'all are familiar with Peachy Keen, you know that they make just the absolute most precious faces for snow people, for penguins, for gingerbread, just all kinds of sweet faces and expressions that just are so uniquely them. And this one was, a, it's an older set. It's an old teapot set and it came with the faces. And I just, I wanted to kind of make it like a platter, like a tea platter with cookies. And that was my inspiration for this. And as you can see, it turned out so sweet. And I've also been wanting to try to do some stitching on some of my projects on the stitch dies. And so I did that around the outside. So I will be sharing which dies I use for that also. But I wanted everyone to see this is the finished product and it's sturdy enough where you could hang it as an ornament and make it part of your gift for Christmas and special holidays. And it's got the little tag at the top and the jingle bells. So let me share the products that I use to make this. So the first one, as I said, the main design is part of a Peachy Keen stamp set. And as you can see, it had a tea pitcher or a teapot and a creamer and a sugar and all the little different faces you could put with it. Now, I did not want the feet on these two pieces. So as you can see, I just fussy cut those off so it looked more like a traditional tea server set. And that's what, you can use it either way. So those are the three pieces I used from this set and I just used the little faces that came with it to create. Yeah. Y'all know how fun the Peachy King stamps are if you've ever used them. They're just addictive. So that was these three were part of this set. I also used a saying or sentiment from your next stamp company. And it's what's up here that says, have a terrific holiday, which I just thought was perfect because they're getting ready for tea. And then I wanted to incorporate the holly and the holly berries in with this set. And so this sentiment was part of your next stamp and it's have a terrific holiday. And this is a newer stamp. I think I got this last year, so it should still be available. I didn't use any of these pieces, but this, this little saying was so cute. So I used it up there, have a terrific holiday. I also used, from the Sizzix Tim Holtz line, out of this, I used the gingerbread and the stars that are the um, little individual cookies that were part of this set. And that's what I made these with, out of die cuts. And as you can see, I just die cut them on watercolor paper. So I wanted him to be a little bit thicker. And then I colored them with some Copics to give them their little faces for the gingerbread. Now the stars, I did something a little different that I'll share with you in a second that I think makes it looked like perfectly frosted little Christmas cookies. But that's how I got those two pieces. The greenery at the bottom is a Sizzix Tim Holtz set. And there's the greenery piece I used for that. And I don't know the name of this set. It's a thinlet set. 
And then I used another Sizzix Tim Holtz set. And I used this for the holly leaves and the holly berries right there. And I just fussy cut away the stem because I didn't want the stem showing. I just wanted it attached to my thread. I also used, for my stitch dies, I used these two of the larger ovals. And they're from, a, they're also a Sizzix framelit set by Stephanie Barnard. So use that. I use the Spellbinders cutting dies for the tag here, for the banner tag. I use the large one. Gave me that. And I also used, and I did not pull it out. Let's see where I have it at. I also used the Karen Berniston sets from Riley and Company. I used the candy cane up here. I just cut the hook off of that because I wanted it to glue onto the tag and not hang. So I used that set. And let's see. Those are the only stamps and dies I used. Let's move this out of the way. Now the paper for the snowflake this is just part of a Recollections paper pad that was purchased from Michaels last year. And it's just a very pretty sagey green that I use a lot. And the back is on craft cardstock. And I used an old book page margin to cut the tag out of up here and the candy cane because I just, I love the texture and the look of the old book pages. So that was used. So let's see what else. Okay, so if you have never added stitching to your projects, it is such a fun way to add some sparkle and just a little bit of extra creativity. As you can see on the stitching die, I just went around with some sparkly embroidery thread. And this is my little bucket of embroidery floss. And I just used a silvery white that had some sparkle in it. And I used a larger needle. I used a tapestry needle just because it's easier to get so many threads through the larger eye of the needle. And I went around the outside. I also used the same little embroidery thread to tie the little bows on the handles of the teapots and the cream and sugar. I have two little rusty jingle bells at the top and some torn fabric for the bow and a little bit of twine with sparkle on it there. Now this is what I wanted to show you for Christmas cookies. I wanted it to look like frosted Christmas cookies. So I used the Nouveau Vintage Drops. Let's see, I think this color is Winter Pear. And all you do is you take it and you kind of move it all around on top of it like it's actually raised like a real, real cookie would be with icing. And then I took, let's see, and I don't know the maker of this. This is just a generic white. And I wanted to make it look like it had little white sprinkles on it. So I'm going to put a little dot there. Uh-oh, hold on. And then I took my little Sizzix tool that I use for dyes, but I probably like all of y'all, I use it for everything. And I just dabbed it in it. And went around on top of the green as if little sprinkles are in the icing. And it makes the sweetest, most perfect looking little poured icing Christmas cookie look. And as you can see, they're just fun to add in. It gives you that little bit of extra shine on that. 
So this is the creation. And I have two eyelets in it that I put in with the crocodile up here. I layered the holly and the berries around the twine just to give it a little extra sparkle. Now, after I glued on the gen little gingerbread cookies at the bottom, I like to take my stickles, just the clear stickles, and rub over with my finger. And then after that, take a little bit of glitter and sprinkle on top of this, the Sizzix. I just, I like it better than just using a plain glue. Um, the Sizzix dries super, super clear, and since it has sparkle in it already, it just makes your project extra sparkly. So this is the completed project. You can see how sweet their little faces are. And I added some little rosy cheeks to them. And a little bit of pink sparkle on top of their rosy cheeks. To give it a little bit of extra sparkle. And a little tag that says, have a terrific holiday. So if if you haven't followed me or given a like to my videos, I would really appreciate it if you would. And have fun crafting this week.